So in this video, I make this beat. So if you want to see how I made that, stay tuned. Hello. I've got a cold, so just uh, the voice is going to be fucked. But um, I'm going to make a quick video about the Digitact. I'm going to record some stuff in, and I'm going to just go with it and uh, make a little fun video. Um, but I just discovered something recently about my analog heat, which is kind of weird. Uh, like it's a glitchy kind of thing. Um, so over here on the screen I've got uh, my one of my uh, tracks, it's like a mastering project, uh, so if I bring up this one, uh, I've got my whole mastering chain all on the bottom here, um, and part of that chain is the analog heat, and so I have one track which, uh, you know, plays... Um, is the source of the uh, audio and then another track that records it and so I record it in and I sort of you know just sort of uh, taper off the end and then I render it down um, <clears throat> when I render it down though that's when things get interesting it's like the analog heat goes into this weird uh, like the record not the record buffer but like the the buffer or something which uh, the input buffer for the audio starts like cycling back on itself and you get this really weird fucked up sound so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record that glitchy, weird, fucked up sound into the uh, Digitact um, as the the first, uh, as the thing I sample, and then I'll add things like beats and stuff on the top of that. But um, yeah, it's interesting. So listen to this. Okay, so I got my Digitact here and it's ready to record. It's uh, on threshold record, threshold record. And over here, I've got my door, Ableton, and uh, I'm going to do a render quick, like I just described, and uh, hopefully it'll all work out well. So, let's do the render. Alright, here we go. <laughs> so as you can hear, it's pretty fucked up. This is all the analog heat that's doing this. It's recording in to the Digitact. That's probably enough, really. Alright, so here we are, the Digitact. I've got the, uh, the sample there. Let's have a listen to that. So that's some messed up shit. Um, so we're gonna save that real quick. Let's uh, call it... Uh, messy... Pete. Fuck. All right. Yes. Sign sample to track. Yes. Sign it to track one. Sweet. <clears throat> so we've got our sample. Um, there it is. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to put in a trig right there and I'm just going to play this and we're going to go to the amp page and bring up not infinite cool so it's just looping. Let's turn it up a bit. Uh, 
There we go. <clears throat> Let's give it some overdrive. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... <laughs> what am I going to do? That is the real question. Um, I think I'm going to fuck around with the start point because I like doing that. It's been a fun thing. Um, so what I might do is put in a few more trigs and I'm just going to LFO destination start Heaps of depth. Might actually go back to the sample as well and um, not tuning. Fuck. These knobs are so sensitive, just by the way, <laughs> which is great, but it can be annoying to find the exact spot. All right, so uh, let's go to the start point. That's the end point. Um, just by the way, this is literally the third time I've sat down with this thing. <clears throat> I got it the other week. Um, I don't know, I've been sort of having some fucked up shit in my personal life, and I got a cold, and I just haven't really had the time to really devote to it. <clears throat> so if I'm a little bit rusty, not even rusty, just uh, sketchy with it, because I haven't really used it very much, uh, that's why. Um, but I still feel like I got a pretty good handle on it, so let's, um, let's put the start point there. <laughs> let's put the end point there. Let's do the loop. Oh, wait, it's loop to the full loop. That's pretty wacky. Um, what I would like to be able to do is change the speed of the sample. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how to do that. And don't like type in the comments how to do it, because I'm sure there's a way. I Like I said, third time I've used this fucking thing. Um, <clears throat> bit rate reduction. Ah, I love this though. I'm gonna... Let's listen to this. <laughs> And while we're at it, let's uh, go like that. And let's go like this. completely chaotic and ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> let's give it some structure. Let's give it something else. Um, so, let's get out of that. Let's go to this one. Let's add a sample. Let's just select one this time. Oh, fucking hell. Let's 
I don't know why, but I like that one, so let's go with that. Um, and let's just quickly mute that first track, and let's go to chromatic mode for this second track. Just like that, yep. Um, I just realized as well, and I'm pretty sure all of this is running through the heat just over here. So let's just test that theory. Sure is. I might just uh, remove the, that for the moment and we can play around with it later. Shit. Well, that definitely needs to be quantized, so let's quantize the fuck out of it. There we go.
that's sounding pretty fucking awesome, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> you know, who else are you going to ask? Um, but uh, basically, the other day I recorded in some piano just live um, from uh, Piano Tech uh, model piano, which is one of my favorite piano plugins. I just played it in live and it sounds like this. Uh... Nope, that's not going to do it. <laughs> That's, you know, nice and whatever. Um, I might try and insert some of that into this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a 16 step part and I'm just going to put one trig right at the beginning and let's mute every everything else except for maybe that bass line for the moment.
that's all I'm gonna do. <clears throat> welcome to the heat. Uh, sorry, welcome to the Digitact. But why not? Welcome to the heat as well. We've got both of them here. Um, I fucking love this thing. Like I say, third time with it. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of just a natural with it because of all of the other Electron stuff. Uh, just straight into joy. No learning curve, just about <clears throat> uh, the heat icing on the cake. Um, these two are a match made in heaven, really. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the weird glitching that happens when I render tracks from the heat um, and sampling that. And this. More videos will be on the way, trust me. Um, I can't stop making videos. I love it. So, uh, yeah, subscribe, like, uh, comment, whatever. Um, I'm open to it. See you later.